And this one I made myself by parts in the garage. I'm not very fond of, of buying things. I'm born in the middle of the forest without any neighbor. But when I started Tentipi, it was a lot of business, a lot of work, work, work. This is kind of back to nature. I learned to skate when I was very young, because uh, next to my father's house, it was a small lake. And of course, we, we played a lot on that lake. My father just said, stay away from, from the grass because the ice is thin there. And we, we learned to skate on that lake. I think it's in and out of We need to be very, very, very careful. <laughs> ah, there it's thin. I will check with that. Almost three centimeters. It's enough to skate on, but it's not safe. You need to, to read the ice conditions. See very carefully if you have some uh, change in, in structure. And you need to respect the ice. First of all, you need to respect the time when, when there is a chance to skate. Because it, it's the first ice that is, is really poetry. And if it's moisture in there and quite cold, then you get beautiful crystals. Yeah, it could be bubbles coming up from the bottom. It's all kinds of things to, to see on the, on the ice. You see, the ice is very flexible. When you skate, you are skating actually in the bowl of ice. I really love skating. It uh, kind of shut off my thinking and I'm, I'm just here. It's like poetry to, to skate.